What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a review on Roxy Nails. They sent me this zip powder, so let's get into the video. So this is how it looks. If you would like to purchase some dip powder from Roxy Nails, you can get 20% off by using my code Erica Saxon. I will have all of the information in the description box. So the instructions come in the box. The instructions are in the front on how to do it and in the back it shows you how to remove it. So in this kit you get a base coat, an activator and a top coat and they only put one powder in here. So these are the colors that can come in the trial kit. So I'm going to use false nails on one finger and the other finger I'm just going to do it with the dip powder. Now that I have the false nail on the tip I'm just filing it and making sure it looks straight. Now it doesn't tell you to do this, but I like to buff my tips and make sure the shine is off the nail so the nail can last longer. So I'm just buffing it. I wanted to try it on my nails, but I had already did it. So I'm using fake practice fingers today. So in this kit you have the dip powder and then you have some wipes that you put the alcohol on. So this is the base coat. Then they have the activator. You put that on third. That's to make the nail hard. And last you have the top coat. So the dip powder that we're using today is called Honeymoon. It's in a very light pink color. So the first thing you have to do is apply a thin coat, a base coat, a hairline away from the cuticle. Then it says quickly dip into glam powder at 45 degree angle. So I'm putting the nail in there and I'm being careful and trying to cover the whole nail. After you're done, you're supposed to remove the excess powder using a brush. Repeat steps one and two on nails until the desired depth of color. So this is what we're gonna do. So right here I decided to use a spoon and I thought that would be very helpful, especially with the tip. So I'm basically doing the same thing over and over again. I'm putting the base coat on there. Then I'm going to put the powder on there. And I use my spoon to help me.
Now, if you see some little spots that you didn't get, you can just put the base coat on that part and put the powder over it. So, you're not going to get it perfect all the time. So, that's what I did. Anybody can do these nails. Anybody. So now it's time to put the activator on and that's to make it super hard. It said leave it air dry for one minute. You want to put the activator on before you start fouling because if you just foul away and don't put the activator on, all of this will just go to waste and you will not have no color on your nail. The nails might not look good at this stage right now, but once you get the fouling, it's going to be great. It's going to look better than this. Now it's time to foul and shape and buff the nail. So right now I'm just tapping it, making sure it's hard enough to foul, and it is. So now I'm just fouling away. Now I got this foul and buffer from a previous kit that I had, so I'm going to foul and then I'm going to buff with the pink side. The pink side, which is the buffer, usually smooths out the nail real, real good. Now I'm going to use one of these alcohol wipes to wipe the nail off and clean it. Also this kit came with other brushes in case you mess your brush up from the activator or the top coat. After you done putting the alcohol on there and another top of activator, it's time to put the top coat on there and you put it on there and leave it on there to dry for two minutes.
Well, I hope you like this video and these nails. Please like, comment, and subscribe.